So today I'm going to be doing a primer collection because I did the eyeshadow palettes and I think I should start from the beginning of my collection. You can see my phone there. Ew. So I'm going to start with eye primers. I have four eye primers. I need to zoom in a little bit. There we go. I'm going to start with probably my oldest one, which is this Morphe Eyelid Primer in Translucent. It is so nearly done. It is so close to being done. There's just air up here. Next, I have this Urban Decay Primer Potion, which is brand new. I haven't even used it. Someone gave it to me, and I was like, mm, I'm going to finish this one before I can use this one. I have this Beauty Runway Eye Primer that came in a Christmas set that I just haven't used yet. And then my newest primer, or eye primer, is this Believe Beauty Lock-In Shadow Primer in the shade Translucent. Primer. I have another eye primer. This is the e.l.f. Putty Primer in Rose, I believe. Yes, it's in Rose. It is too dark for me. Ooh. Very. <laughs> Next, I have, um, like, pore fillers. I have three. I have three. I have this Hard Candy uh, Sheer Envy Perfect Primer for minimiz minimizing lines and pores for a smooth finish. I have this Milk Makeup Blur Stick just a sample size or like a mini size I guess and then I have this magic perfecting L'Oreal magic perfecting base that's what it looks like I've used a lot of it <laughs> next I'm gonna show correctors because and my AC kicked on okay it shut off now I have two color correcting primers I do have a palette, but I showed that in my palette collection. If you'd like to see that, I'll have it linked in the description. I have this Hard Candy Color Correcting Primer, and it's the green one. I have, and I have this Gloss... Gloss Savina? I guess that's how you pronounce it. One-stepped Color Corrector. Skin Tone Correcting and Brightening Primer. It literally mixes all of these colors together. very thick but yeah obviously you don't use that much but oh I just got that in my hair lastly I have hydrating primers I guess I'll start with my oldest one which is this revolution hydrate primer take a shot every time I say hydrating primer please don't you would die I have this mini size of the hard candy sheer envy hydrating primer a lot of hard candy primers. I have this Mary Kay foundation primer with sunscreen, which again someone gave me and it's almost empty. I have this All May Sh uh, Skin Perfecting Comfort Care Primer Base. It's the hydrating one, obviously, because it's in the hydrating category. I have this NYX Hydra Touch primer and it does this squirty thing. My friends love that. Oil primer and then I have this e.l.f. antioxidant booster drops which I use as a primer because I really like how that makes my skin look. I have two setting sprays. I have this NYX matte finish long lasting setting spray and then I have this revolution bottle but inside of it's like the I'll have a picture up here if I can find it. It's like the Revlon Prep Spray, but I just put it in this bottle because I like this bottle sprayer more. Um, and then I have three, like, mixing shades. I have two of these LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigments. Oh my god, I hate that sound. I have it in yellow, and I have it in blue. I need to get red, so I have all three. And then I have these NYX Total Control Pro Hue Shifters. I have this in the light shade. And then foundations. Oh god. 
I have four of these NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. I have them in porcelain and alabaster. Oh my god, I hate that noise. My actual color is pale, but my mom bought me these and I'm trying to use them up because I love this foundation to bits. I love this foundation. This Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation in porcelain. It's too dark for me, but I still love it. I have this uh, lasting Rimmel Lasting Breathable 24 Hour Finish. I read those in the wrong order. Broad Spectrum with Sunscreen in um, O81 Fair Ivory, if I could speak. I have this LA Colors Truly Matte Long Wear High Pigment Foundation in Porcelain again. This one's super old and it's starting to smell off, so I'm going to get rid of it soon. I have this Pacifica A Light Clean Foundation. And I have no idea what shade this is in. I don't know if it's H19 because it's on the bottom. But I have this one. And then I have this Mercelli BB Cream in Golden Glow, which is too dark for me, and I use it on my friends. Next, I have concealers. Concealers. I'm going to start with the one I have the most of. I have four of these uh, Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealers in different shades. I have two in pale, one in fair, and one in alabaster. Pale is my color. These two are just ones I'm trying to use up because I bought them in the wrong shade. I have this Revolution Conceal and Define in C1. It's been sitting a while, clearly. It's too dark for me. Yay. This one is way too dark for me. It's the Revolution Fast Base Concealer in C5. Someone, again, gave this to me. It is so yellow and so not my color. I have a TIGI Concealer Pot in light. Again, too dark for me, but I use it for like eyeshadow and things. I have this uh, LA Color or LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Definer Concealer in the Fairest, and then I have two of these Makeup Obsessions Mega Conceal concealers, one in O1 and one in O3. I think O2 would be my color because this one's too dark and obviously this one's too light. So I guess if I had the one in the middle, but I just mixed these two to make it work. Oh, I also have this um, Maybelline cover stick in white that I've used the crap out of. And I guess for this video, I'll end on powder. So these are my five powders. I have the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder in 01 Transparent. It is not transparent, obviously. I have the Maybelline Fit Me in Translucent Light, or 100. This is the one I'm currently trying to finish up. It's the Wet n Wild Coverall Pressed Powder in Fair. It is super finely milled, so like, it's going by pretty quick. Then I have two loose powders. I have the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil in original I think. It's too pink for me but I still have it. It's like a little mini. And then I have this Metatron Color Set Powder Translucent Setting Powder. This is like for FX stuff but I still have it. So, And that's all for this video. Thank you for staying and I'll see you in the next one where I'll do blushes, bronzers, highlighters, ignore that. Um, those types of things. And then I'll probably have a third part for eyeliners and single eyeshadows and things. So, I'll see you then.